We're best bros movies. And listen, this summer was hectic for us, especially September. Listen, we got to record a few new movie reviews, but most of the stuff was pre taped. So, if you've been one of the people who's been watching our stuff on a regular basis, thank you for doing that. Uh, we hope you're doing this. This is a I'm gonna say this is a pre-recorded review again because we're publishing this after we're recording this early October. So you've seen Logan Lucky. I haven't. I missed it, and I missed a few other movies. But we also missed a few. Other, we, I don't know, man. But tell me about Logan Lucky, man. Cause I've seen the trailers. I didn't. I saw Thank one God trailer. I, didn't. I saw only one trailer. But I think they only have Every now and then you get a movie, comes out of Tell nowhere, me about the movie, man. slaps you upside the head and you're like, how did I not see this coming? Well, because... And you saw it through many movies usually, a lot of movies do this, Marvel does it very nicely with the uh, beat, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, or just, movie comes out of nowhere, wins your hearts, just kind of sneaks in there, you didn't see it coming, and you're like, I cannot believe this just happened. This is one of those movies. Uh, just the whole concept of the movie. Yeah, it's a heist about a NASCAR a... race. Heist. Well, <laughs> no. It's not. Well, it's a heist yeah. that just happens to happen during the NASCAR race. Okay. But the whole, the whole plan. So is this like an action comedy it? slash heist movie, or is it like an? This action... is like a comedy slash heist slash hillbilly. Okay, so like, it, so it's like a P, uh, it's like an R-rated. Uh, I'm not sure it's R-rated though. Hillbillies go to Hollywood or something like that. No, no, it's. Uh, let's check. It's PG-13. Okay. Rightfully so. So here's the thing. I mean, Shane, considering the cast, I thought it would be yeah, R-rated movies. But so. it's not. It, it surprisingly isn't. Maybe it's like, but. It's not, and it's a very so. Channing Tatum and uh, Adam Driver. Yeah, Adam Driver. Uh, they play. Uh, they're two brothers, and basically Channing's character gets uh, laid off from work. Okay. Happens because you know he works in a construction crew. Somebody in the HR department saw him limping, and they f basically fired him due to liability. Of course. Insurance liability. Yeah. It happens. Uh, he is also a divorced father of a young daughter, but and that kind of plays into the whole thing. But basically, then he needs some money. His brother needs some money, so they figure out. Let's and they just and before he got fired, his construction crew just happened to fix some leaks on the nearby NASCAR track race. So they pick a date and they figure out we're going to go there. They figure out how the whole system of transporting money to the safe works and they figure out we can hijack that transport system and get out. Okay. But, you know, they're... But stuff happens. Stuff happens. They need an explosion okay. expert and okay. just Tell so happens... about Daniel Craig. He's the explosion expert. Of course. But there's a catch. Okay. He's in jail. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've seen it in the so, trailer, man. So, how do you get somebody who is in jail to leave jail for one day, blow up a transport system and gets back to jail. Okay, uh, first thing is first. Why would he exit the jail for one day and then go back? Because he can't really explain to them how to blow stuff up. He has to physically no, 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 be no. there You're, to blow it okay, up. Okay, I get that. I get, but why would he go back to prison? So nobody he, in the prison figures out he was gone because if they, if they figure out he's gone, then he's a fugitive. He can't just leave and not return. <laughs> he has five months left on his sentence. Oh, he wants to, okay, okay. He I'm, wants to go after okay, square. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, that is like, okay. So there's this whole elaborate plan <laughs> that involves Channing, Adam, their sister Molly, Daniel Craig and his two brothers who are like the hillbilliest hillbillies that ever hillbillied. <laughs> okay, a, man. And the whole prison word of con of crooks to just to pull it off. But it's simple, it's divine, it's perfect. 
from start to finish. Usually when you is think... Is it hour and a half, 45? Probably, hours. something like that. Okay, so... It's not too long, it's just the right amount of time. And here's the thing, usually you would think if hillbillies were doing something, they're gonna end up blowing a whole stuff up, and they're gonna mess the whole plane up, they're and a lot of caught. people are gonna die. They're gonna get caught oh, yeah. up in jail. Okay, so without any spoilers, what would you give this movie a rating? Like a 27. Are you telling me that a hillbilly heist movie is yes. a better movie than Blade Runner 2049? Yes. It's like right now, I have to really think back to the old movies we saw this year. I'm not gonna go be so optimistic as to say it's in top three, but it's in top five. <laughs> like this movie, listen, I don't know how many people saw this one in the theater. Yeah, this, it was here very short. He time, played here like, for two weeks. Like, Duke, I, I could have gone and seen it had it been in the theater for like one more week, but it wasn't. He so played I had for to miss two it. weeks. Yeah. How many people saw this movie? I have no idea. Why they didn't see this movie, I honestly don't know. Okay. Because this is seriously one of the movies that is worth watching. Okay. I don't know what the critics are saying, I don't know what the reviewers are saying, and quite frankly, I do not care. Okay. Never care for that kind of stuff. But here's the thing, watch it. Like, it's gonna be out on DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, it's probably not playing in your theaters anymore. It's one movie that is definitely worth watching. Get in your lazy boy, kick your feet up, get your tub, huge tub full of popcorn, some soda, and enjoy yourself. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, and you're gonna have a great time. Okay. Uh, I definitely look forward to watching this movie. Because at one point, just everything goes... Okay. You gotta plan like what is gonna happen at one point. Basically, yeah. That's usually when the you plan the funniest part is they set a date for the because the NASCAR track race is so big, they got their own security team, their own yeah, police of force, and everything else. So they pick the easiest race of the year. So the one week when there's gonna be the fewest guard, when it's gonna be the easiest job. Okay. But because of the construction crew, they usually it's always late. They're wrapping this one up early. They gotta move their timetable, and what happens is they're getting to rob the place on the biggest race okay. of the year. Yeah, uh, dude, listen. So Just I'm one the, of the wrinkles dude, that you, gets thrown here. Listen, I trailer sold me on this movie. You sold me even more so. So thank you for that. Uh, and everything is southern. It's West Virginia, folks. Okay, cool. I look forward to watching this, man. I know my face doesn't show it, my voice probably doesn't show it, but I'm excited to it's watch it. It's definitely. This. Listen, go and watch it. You will not regret it. Okay. Good. Good. That's it from us. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you like our review, let us know. If you don't like us, uh, let us know. Yeah. yeah. Just be. He cool replies to like everything unless you troll and stuff. Then you get deleted. Yeah. But yeah. till next time, Bash Bros out.